Hi there, everyone. It's Reagan Thompson here. Thank you so much for joining me on this recording today. We're here to offer a love and care to all of you and your beautiful souls, as well as offer a short meditation. And the meditation that's coming forward today is in regards to expectation. How many of us have attempted to meet the expectation, expectations possibly of others in a way that has been detrimental to our evolution as a soul? We have tried often in our past to do everything for all as a way to stay safe or be in control or feel at ease in this world in the past. We've experienced, you know, doing our best to meet those expectations and it has truly led us to a great deal of pain at times. It's almost like we believe that if we tried hard enough or we did enough that we would be able to meet the expectations of others in a way that was enough. And for many of us, we were raised in an environment where no matter what we did, it was never enough. At least it felt that way, whether or not that was our family's um, intention. We've come from a world where unconsciousness was kind of the way forward. We didn't know if we could even remain conscious or try to be conscious because it didn't seem like it was the thing that people were up to. But now things are changing and we can be awake and aware and conscious. There's other people who are doing it. There's, there's so much more awareness around um, ways that we can heal, healing modalities, um, healing studios, yoga centers, teachers, facilitators. It is truly happening. The globe is shifting and it needs to greatly right now. It is time for humanity to evolve into greater consciousness. For us then, it is important for us to let go of this need to fulfill the expectations of others, which is often coming from our personality or from the ego. And we want you to learn to let go of what other people think, what they think of you, what other people's expectations might be of you. And most importantly, the ones that you hold of yourself that have some sort of quality of being perfectionistic in some way. Like if you do it just right, just so, you will be loved, you'll be accepted, and most importantly, not disappointed in yourself or disappointing to others. This comes from fear. So we're going to move into a prayer right now that hopefully will help to eliminate some of this fear, to dissolve it, to clear it, to move it into the light and help us to let go of any remaining expectation in our system that is simply time for it to go right now. It's true that what we work with within these meditations is anything and everything and it is ready to go right now. We don't push, we don't force. Our timing is with what is timed to go, meaning our system is ready to release it. We are ready to let go. We have learned enough around this that we know we don't need to gather more information. We don't need to reside in any more stress about it. We don't need to think about it. We don't need to try. We don't need to force. We simply just need to let go. So let's take that slow and deep breath. Placing one hand over your heart if that feels good to you. And for some of you, it might feel really good just to put your hands in your lap. Just taking your seat, please, if possible. Taking some slow and deep breaths. Calling in our divine team and spirit. Any, any members of this team that can show up, any angels, any guides, any masters, any divine beings that are highly in alignment with spirit here to serve and help us clear and cleanse our energy systems right now. We call upon you. We call upon any divine archangels, archangels that are available at this time, such as Archangel Metatron or Gabriel or Raphael or Sandifon. Please, we call upon your assistance, your guidance. Please really basically create a protective barrier and protection around our entire energy system, all four corners, north, south, east, and west, so that whatever happens right now, it is only the light that is purifying our energy system, and we are only connecting with light that is truly in alignment with spirit. Taking that slow and deep breath.
moving into this prayer together. So we thank you. We thank you so much, Mother, Father, God, for this beautiful, divine, blessed prayer that is happening, that is helping us to clear and cleanse our energy systems in a way that is divinely timed. Everything that is happening right now is meant to happen right now as it is. We know that right now what we're working with is in is in the context of expectation, this belief that we can do enough, be enough, become enough in order to actually feel safe and in control and loved and appreciated and supported. That somehow we have to keep doing and going and trying and forcing so that eventually we're going to feel loved cared for and appreciated. The truth is we would like to burst this bubble of light, burst these illusions into a bubble of light, please. Every illusion illusion popped like little bubbles because it's true that these are obscurations in consciousness. And we ask you, Mother, Father, God, to help shed only light into our energy system to any crevice or space or place within our system now that needs this light to help it heal and to clear and to cleanse it from any fear that we've been holding around if we don't meet these expectations what would happen would we feel unloved would we feel uncared for and we would feel what possibly lonely separate like we don't belong like we failed in some way really feeling in your energy system where expectation has been connected to success or failure Expe expectation has been connected to whether or not you would feel loved or not by yourself or another this feeling that if you're not perfect if you're not doing it right then then you are failing you're doing it wrong taking a slow and deep breath is it true that you're doing something wrong or that you failed or simply you're just doing it as what's in alignment for you in that moment? And sometimes it doesn't look like what others might want it to look like for, for them. So therefore they might project onto us and say, if you don't do it like me, then you're doing it wrong. And really what it really means if they're doing that, we're asking you please to realize and this is spirit speaking to each one of us, that what they're saying is, I demand you to be like me so I can feel safe as me. The I feeling safe as the I, the identity, the ego identity. Would you rather be an I masquerading as your true divine soul self, or would you like to dissolve that into the light now? Take a deep and slow breath. Are you an I, a me, a my? Are you the soul? Feeling this soulful connection now as you connect into your heart, take a deep and slow breath, dropping all your attention and all your focus into your heart. And in fact, if you so choose, you can take this even deeper now and take a step back behind your heart. moving into the space behind your heart and feeling that within that space right now, this is where the seat of your soul resides. Dropping into that luminous transcendent space that only knows night, light, that only knows love, only knows truth and knowingness of all that is, has no connection to doing, only connection to being. And within this beingness, this spaciousness, this beautiful, vibrant spaciousness, you are loved as you are completely, no matter what. You literally can stop doing anything today and you would be loved fully and completely. Feel how much the expectation energy has been keeping you in some sort of loop like in a hamster and a hamster wheel, just looping, looping. Because as you know, any time you feel like you've met the expectations of yourself or another, it's like you're looking, the ego, the personality, the I is looking for the next expectation to meet because supposedly every time the expectation is met, even if it doesn't really ever really get met, it feels like that's what to the ego is success. So there is no end to this loop, You're constantly trying to get another expectation met for yourself or by another. And then if you don't get it met, then you feel like sullen or depressed or sad, feeling like you're not doing enough, that you're not fulfilling something, you're fulfilling what you're even, it can have you looped and thinking you're not fulfilling your conscious purpose, your soul purpose. This is a trap. This is an egoic illusion. 
Perhaps your sole purpose, your true conscious purpose is to become conscious, to become awake and aware, to live and lead from your beautiful soul, to stand in sovereignty and the spaciousness of spirit within yourself constantly. Taking a slow and deep breath. Feeling how good it is to know that there's nothing that you need to do to be loved. No transaction exchange. You don't need to give something so you can receive something. You as you already are loved perfectly and uniquely and beautifully in connection to spirit. You are God, goddess in a body having this incredible human experience. Sometimes it's not easy. We all know that. And all of it is here to help you learn and grow. There is no pain that is here to be a problem. It is here to teach us. So if and when you let go of expectation and you feel some sort of fear that then you will not be able to get what you need or want through accolades and words, words of uh, encouragement, whatever it is that this ego has got you wrapped up in thinking will go away, then allow yourself to feel that pain for a moment of how much you've been hanging on to this as a way to get loved. Let that pain process through now. Perhaps it feels like a lot to notice that you've been doing this for some time. It's okay. Take a slow, deep breath. You are doing great. Feel how now in this meditation, this was uniquely timed for you to hear this, to choose to let go and to let God into every crevice of your being. Slow and deep breath. Say yes now to surrendering it all to spirit. Any expectation, any fear around expectation, any beliefs around expectation that they work, that they're helpful, that they help you feel loved, whatever it is, surrendering it, if you so choose, all to spirit now. Thank you so much. We thank you so much, all angels, guides, and masters, all divine higher beings, archangels that were here with us today, for each one of us. We are so grateful for the healing, the clearing, the revealing that is happening right now and will continue to. Please help us let go of all expectation. We know that it's been really challenging and we feel the pain of that today to whatever degree that each one of us do. And we are so grateful to help us process this with as much ease and grace as we continue and walk forward. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Have a great day.